uh, you picked up the cogs. We need to go back to the church to take the lift to try ultimately to get access to the family mausoleum where apparently there is no Hans just to confirm I think we've got a lot of confirmation we need to be sure I guess panel that's why we picked up the cogs in the hotel after all uh, ooh, was the large one can't remember now was the large one no there doesn't even allow you to put them on the wrong uh, in the wrong spot anyway so it's quite easy <laughs> go it's a pretty high-tech church in some ways oh. bird is not afraid right Ooh. um You can enter these punch cards and, and it'll just... It'll just uh, do this. So obviously the red one was the Christmas one. Uh, I can't honestly remember what all these mean. But one will be relevant. Oh, weddings. Because the townspeople must be wondering what's going on in the church. <laughs> Soon we'll have to deal with an angry mob. Uh, purple one. Probably the correct one, but I'm not sure. I no longer need these punch cards. Yeah, just drop them on the floor. I guess. The one tends to the church also doesn't need them anymore. Let's go see the dude who lowered his hat there was a the uh, as it stated in that leaflet we found in the inn the traditional uh, Vorarlberg key which we'll see a lot of in this game uh, for obvious reasons the new one. I think that's their father. I 
seems to have a, a long line of poor old birds buried here. It did say they've been in the in this village for centuries making their automatons, starting out with theater puppets. Well, let's check out Hans's food. Let's hope there's no one in there. <laughs> Mountain fall kills local figure. So this is the uh, Gazette clipping uh, that states that Hans Vorlberg died at the age of 18. Uh, which obviously was big news as he was uh, an heir to the big um, Vorlberg manufacturing company. And we found another one of those cylinders. So, yes, the Valadilen voice cylinder. So we had a music cylinder pop out of that machine that we found in um, Anna's offices in the factory. It just played a, a, some music. This is a voice cylinder. So we'll be putting that in the machine and see what it says. See what it does. Off to the factory now. Got another clue. So we now know for certain, a hundred percent, no doubt, Hans Vorlberg is still alive. Um, his sister confirmed it by writing letters with him up to her death and, and planning to visit him even with the train. The uh, local priest had a letter in his desk with a confession from the previous priest stating that um, their father himself confessed to him that Hans was not dead and uh, it was also uh, stated in a letter by Anna to the notary saying that her brother is still alive and now we found his uh, his grave with an empty coffin, just a, a newspaper clipping. Oh, going the wrong way. And uh, and the voice cylinder. So we're now on our way back to the factory to listen to the voice cylinder. There was a machine in Anna's office that could play these things. There's. I really love that window in the middle. I would like to have a window like that. <laughs> it's uh, Art Deco, eh? Art Nouveau? Art Deco. I can never really tell the two apart. It seems to be Nouveau. Well, I did land voice cylinder, so we'll put that in the machine, see what happens. when father notices you've stolen one of his lanterns. Oh, I'm all covered in mud because of you. Look, Anna. Look. I've seen paintings like this in a library book. They're like you swore, Anna. It's a secret between you and me. Hey, look. There's something else up there. Oh, come on. It's like a toy. 
have to have it. Give me some light. But Hans, it's much too high. Do be careful, Hans. I'm taking the top of that machine because, uh, not just because the game allows me to, but because when we checked the inside of the train, there were several pedestals there that we could uh, put important stuff on. There was one round one which had a similar um, box at the bottom to put cylinder, voice cylinders in. So this uh, little set of puppets will go on top of that. Uh, train station, we'll go put that on there right now. So uh, in Anna's, in one of her uh, Anna's uh, letters in the office, the letter that she was writing to Hans before she fell ill and died, um, she did mention that um, when she would be going to visit him on the train, she'd be taking the mammoth doll and she'd have to look in the caves for that. We will have to find that mammoth doll uh, to put on one of the pedestals as well in the train. Here. Uh, put this where it belongs. And we can put these neatly in the cupboard so that that will be where we need to put that mammoth doll that Anna said she would not leave behind it's me again Oscar hello Kate Walker why aren't we setting off Oscar I must abide by regulations your ticket please Kate Walker uh, oh, we still also need to get our letter stamped, the letter that gives us permission to take the train out of Valadilen, because the train is part of an inheritance, obviously. Um, the notary was asleep, so we decided to take matters into our own hands and stamp it ourselves. So we'll, uh, we'll have to find some ink, because the notary ran out of ink, apparently. Did you hear Anna Vorlberg talk about a mysterious cave? No, Kate Walker. Okay, so that's the cave. Don't think for one moment that I'm bored of you, <laughs> Oscar, but I have to go. I also have much to attend to, Kate Walker. So the, the cave is where the mammoth doll still is. It, she says so in her letter. Um, and it was also confirmed by that voice cylinder we just watched. I will, instead of going for the cave straight away, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to check the mansion where the family used to live to see if there's any way in and to see if there's anything there that we need to pick up or maybe more clues on the background on 
uh, Hans and Anna and, and what exactly happened. The door is locked, but I've still got to get in there. Yeah, front door is locked, obviously. I'll just go around to the garden, see if there's any way in. <laughs> 